this, the Tony Rose Morning Show on Sam 100.7. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing out there on your Monday, March the 3rd, 2008? Yes, it is Monday. Nothing we can do about that except get through the thing together. And in the studio with me, the group is, is, is my perfect apathy. It's an amplifier spotlight Monday on Sam 100.7. With me, Mike C., from my perfect apathy. Did I get that right? Yeah, you got it right. How you doing, man? You doing real out? good. Yeah, everything going good? Hanging out at Sam. I like it. See, you're, you're a big Sam fan. I didn't know that. You I'm knew, a huge Sam fan. You knew more about this station coming in here than, than I did, man. You're like, I want to do this, this, this. You guys played this. I was like, we did? Wow. That's cool. So I, much, you know, much respect to that. that. That's cool stuff. Now, my perfect apathy. Uh, unique name for a group. Uh, unique group. Tell us about My Perfect Apathy. Well, My Perfect Apathy is basically just me doing yes. the music and the lyrics and things like that, trying to get the jazzy, loungy sound out there, trying to make some music for you to relax to. Right on, right on. Now, uh, who, who are some of your musical influences, you know, I guess? Tom Petty, Red yeah. Hot Chili Peppers, yeah. uh, Putumaya World Music Collection, Lifescapes, you can pick up at Target. What was that one, the last one there, the Putumaya, what? what was that one? Putumaya World Music. Puta Maya World Music. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a party. You can find it on the internet. That sounds like, is it salsa type, type music? or is Music it? from all over the world. Things from really? the Caribbean, things from Brazil. It's a party. Really? And how do you get into stuff like that? Like, what, like, you know, who turns you on to, to, that, to, that, to that type of music? Like, where'd you find out about I it? I went at? to Opry Mills to that Earthbound Trading Company. <laughs> and saw their, saw the Puta Maya CDs up there. And was yeah. like, hey, really? this looks good. And I was like. I took one home and then started buying the rest. <laughs> wow. Thank goodness you didn't go to the VeggieTales makes your own name and a song one or whatever. Then it'd be a whole different thing going on, right? Who knows you know? where I'd be right now. Exactly. You'd be rapping with VeggieTales and stuff. Larry Boy or something. Anyway. Uh, now, now, you're a young guy. How long have you been doing the music scene and everything? How long has this been going on for you? Since I was about 18. Wow. Now, how old are you now? 20, about 24. 24. Wow. Now, where are you originally from? Are you, are you, you're not from this area, though, right? Los Angeles, California. L.A. Wow. Wow. Now, how in the world did you end up in, in Bowling Green from, from L.A.? It would take all day to tell you that story. Hey, there you go. Luckily, luckily, we only have about four minutes of uh, required on-air time for this uh, for this uh, this interview. Uh, man, well, that's cool. So you uh, so you uh, born and raised in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Do you ever drop the I was born and raised in South Central type thing or Compton or anything like that? No. Like is it like a street? cred thing no i would totally do that i'm from logan county and i act like it's like you know like i'm like hardcore and everything like i'm a g or something anyway uh well now tell us a little bit about uh you got you're working on an album right we're about ready to to, to release an album is, is that right yeah about ready to release it the death of madness the death of madness depth the depth the depth of yeah, madness. death would be cool too though that would be cool the death of because that's kind of like you saying- have to copyright that idea Hey, you know what? You can have it. Just drop me an album line around the inside is all I ask, okay? Seriously. And just when you do MTV Cribs, I just want to be sitting on your couch playing Xbox. That's all I want. Like, you're going through, you know, you're doing the MTV Cribs thing. This is what I tell everybody. If you ever get rich and famous, which you might, you know, you should, you should. Uh, when you're doing the tour, you know, and you open the refrigerator up and you go, here's my Chris style. And then you show your DVD collection. Here's Scarface. Everybody's got to have Scar. Just, and who's this guy on the couch? Oh, that's nobody. He just, I just want to be sitting there on the couch playing Xbox as you do the tour of the house. If you could do that, if you could arrange that for me. It's a done deal. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, now you guys are online, too. Uh, what's, your, what's the website that people can check out to so, find out more? www.myperfectapathy.com. Myperfectapathy.com. And uh, now do you guys play out a lot? Where can they hear your music at? Can they hear it at the website as well? They can hear it at the website. I've got a splash on the front page. You can either choose the website or MySpace. You right can go on. find it on the I Like Dashboard, Pump Audio things like that. All right, good deal. Well, let's check something out here. What's this song we're going to hear today? What's this one called? This song is called Charlie Chaplin. It's about the old guy, Charlie Chaplin, who used to make the silent movies oh, yeah. and things like that. Good deal. Good deal. All right, here we go. Charlie Chaplin. It's my perfect apathy. Mike C in the studio with me. It's an amplifier spotlight Monday on the Tony Rose Morning Show. And Sam, here, let's check this out and see what we got here. Hang on a second. Let me, I got to re it again here. I hit the wrong, I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. Here we go. It's my perfect apathy on Sam 100.7. If it'll play. There we go. There we go. It's uh yeah, it's Sam. Here we go. <laughs> 